Hi guys, today I'll explain how to do animation using movement, rotation or scaling in Unity using C Sharp. So before uh, that I'll show you how to create the uh, project in Unity. So when you open Unity Hub, you'll be greeted with this window. Here uh, make sure that you have a version of Unity installed. So let's go to project and click on this new project. After that it will ask you which type of project you want it to create. If you are a beginner, you can go through these on uh, these project, which is a great starting point. But as I'll be showing you how to create uh, movement and all those things, so I'll create a empty project. So I'll go to this core on the left hand side. Then uh, which type of game we wanted to create? So for our case, we wanna go with 3D. So I'll select 3D. Now on this right hand side, you can give a name of your project. So I'll give something like. Some name and uh, give the project name and create on this uh, click on this create project button so when it opens you'll be seeing something like this in your uh, entire screen so this is your unity editor uh, this this window that you are seeing here is actually your uh, scene window means uh, whatever you create you can uh, put those items in this scene this is like a world on the top you can see that is this a uh, game view so game view means uh, when you play the game, what you'll be seeing. So we have a camera here in the scene. So when you play the game, we'll be seeing through this camera. So if I go to the game view, you can see through the camera, right? And we have a light. So because we don't have any item, we can't see anything. So I'll just add a plane here. So to add any item, just right click on this left hand panel. This is called the hierarchy. Here you have all the objects that you are currently have in the scene so I'll just create a 3d object and I'll add a plane okay so this is our plane you can see the uh, when we select the plane we can give it a name here so this will be our ground and uh, when I uh, select the ground on the right hand side you can see there's the position rotation and scale so it is uh, not in the center right so it is a little bit uh, off centered so I'll just make everything zero and it will be at the center of the world so this is the center of the world 000 coordinate okay now uh, obviously it looks completely white we can't see anything so just add another object 3d object and this time i'll add a cube so this cube came right i'll also make this one 000 so as you can see that this is uh, intersecting with the uh, plane right so to fix this i'll just move it up using this arrow keys okay now uh, how to move around in this viewport is uh, make sure you have a mouse because using laptop key um, trackpad it will be a little, little bit difficult to navigate so uh, you, if you hold down your middle mouse button and if you drag you can actually drag around like this it's like panning then if you press the alt key on your keyboard and you press left click and then you drag so it is like uh, orbiting around a pivot point right and uh, and then you can do the scroll wheel for zooming in or zooming out and let's say you lost somewhere and you not you're not able to find where the objects are so in this case just select the object on the hierarchy so maybe let's say i wanted to focus on the cube but obviously I can't see the cube. If I rotate also, I can't see where the cube is. So I'll just select the cube here and I'll uh, hover over the mouse around here and then I'll press F. So it'll just focus onto the cube. Now I can zoom out and I can pan around, right? And uh, if the light is, light is a little bit too harsh, so I'll just reduce the intensity of the light here. Now it looks more uh, pleasing to the eye, right? Now I'll show you how to apply a material on this. So material is uh, basically defines which type of surface the object are having. Maybe uh, for example a dirt will have a rough surface right. Whereas uh, car paint will have a shiny surface. So to define a material so to def like to define that surface type we will be creating a material. So right click on this project tab. Here we can uh, create a new, go to create and then create a material. Now give it a name, so I'll just give it like maybe um, ground. 
so maybe our ground is uh, of grass so I'll give it a color a little bit uh, green greenish type of color and the and I'll just drag this object and I'll drop it in the uh, onto this ground so as you can see that the ground is having that green color right now uh, we can obviously change some more parameters so you can fine tune the color as we like so maybe you want a little bit yellow a bit more saturated green then we have the smoothness this defines uh, is the surface rough or is it smooth like uh, you know reflective maybe rain happened or something so it is more reflective now so this is your uh, smoothness I'll keep it at uh, 0.5 it looks uh, good enough for this uh, for our need now let's create a different material for the uh, let's say this cube is our player so I'll make it red I'll just create a new material this time I'll put it as red or maybe I'll rename it to player now change the color to red uh, maybe it will be a little bit rough and I'll drag it to the player so there is the player now I would do an animation or I'll do a little bit of coding and I'll make the player just rotate around like this so it should rotate like this right so how I'm doing it is if you see on the inspector tab so this is my transform transform defines all the com, uh, position rotation and scale right so if I move change the scale on the x-axis see it is growing or shrinking if I make it on the y-axis it uh, gr grows taller or shrunks like this similarly uh, we have the rotation so if I do it on the x-axis see it is uh, piv pivoting the x-axis right if I do it on the y-axis so it rotates like that if I do it on the z-axis it rotates like this right so uh, I'll write a code now to control this value using my code so I'll just uh, click on this add component here on make sure that the cube is selected because uh, we'll be writing the script on on that object that which we're trying to move so for our case we're trying to move this transform this thing right so I'll write the script on this object so I'll click click on add component then I'll give it a name here so let's say I'll do uh, rotation animation then I'll create the script and hit create and add so it will create the script and it, it is compiling so it is done now I'll just double click on this one to open it up and it should open in Visual Studio so this is the um, basic default uh, fun, uh, script that will come with unity when you create an, any new script so here we can see that there are two class, uh, two uh, functions. One is start and one is update. So, and uh, it is already uh, it says here that start is called before the first frame, and uh, update is called once per frame. So I'll show you what that means. And uh, okay, so I'll delete these two com comments. And now let's I'll print some value when I'm starting the. On the start function so for printing a value you can just type uh, print then maybe I'll say start okay now I'll save it I come to unity go to this console here so in here you can see whatever the output you're getting through your coding and I'll just make sure that everything is enabled make sure you clear everything and make sure that collapse is turned off for now we don't need this but make sure that it is turned off not like this it should be like this okay now uh, I'll hit the play button and let's see what happens so we can see that we we're getting one uh, start as the output here right because we put start here now instead of a start I'll put a variable so let's say I have uh, I a variable which starts at zero right so I'll print start and then I'll do I plus uh, plus sorry I'll print I and I'll increase the value of I right so now I'll come here now I'll start the play button and let's see what happens it says zero right because start is executed once when you click the play button 
it will execute only once so that's why it is just printing zero and then after increasing the value it is not doing anything because we're not printing it right now what i'll do is i'll print the same i value in the update function so after printing i'm just increasing the value of i now if you see see the i value is increasing right so this is how the update function works so it executes the command every frame now i'll stop it so let's come here so for the animation obviously we can't put it on the start function we have to do it on the update function otherwise it will only work once and then it will stop so i'll show you what i mean so for now let's i'll just you know move the object on the x-axis like this okay so i have to increase the value on the x-axis i don't care on the y or other axis so what i'll do is so this is under transform right so this is under transform so i'll put transform now which thing I wanted to change? I wanted to change the position. So I'll do transform dot position. Now what I wanted to do is I wanted to add on the x-axis. Maybe a small value like 0.01. I, I wanted to add on the x-axis. So I'll do transform dot position plus equals. Now how do you add value to this? This is, this is having three values, right? Position has three value x, y and z. So how can we add a value? So unity comes with a concept called vector. If you have studied vector, so vector has three component, right? X, Y, and Z. So if I put this code here, new vector three. So here we can define how much we wanted to add. So let's say on the X axis, I wanted to add 0 0.01. On the Y axis, I'll add zero. And on the Z axis, I'll add zero. So I'm not changing uh, on the Y or Z axis. I'm only changing the value on the X axis. Maybe I'll put a little bit larger value. Let's say one I'll put, okay? So as soon as I start the game, what should happen is this position should become one and this, this, right? By default, it will be like this. When I start the game, it should go like this. So let's hit play and uh, let's see how it works. Before that, I'll just, you know, uh, drag this game window to this right hand side so that you can see what is happening. So I'll just do it like this. So I'll hit the play button now. I'll select the cube look at this uh, position here I'll hit the play button see it jumped a little bit to the right right and also the position become one and some random other values so I'll do the same thing now in update function and see what happens so I'll just cut this and I'll paste it in the update function now let's see what happens so it will move very fast actually I'll just uh, angle the camera like this so if I hit play now, now see carefully what happens. See, it goes really fast, right? And the position is increasing rapidly. So it is actually updating the position every frame. Every frame it is adding one unit. One unit in the sense, actually it is one meter. So it is like one meter per second speed, you can say. So I'll change the speed now. So I'll put it 0.01f in the update function. Now if I come here, I'll hit play. Now see it is moving smoothly, right? This this position is uh, getting added. So now you can do the same thing, but on the other direction, if you wanted to do, you can do negative 0.01f. So it will go to the other direction. Right? It is going to the other direction. Now, so this is with the uh, position. Now I'll do the same thing, but with the scale. So let's do scale. So for scale, it is also under transform, right? So transform dot scale now. So transform dot scale, but see scale is not there. There are two things. One is local scale and one is lossy scale. So we'll be using local scale actually. Actually, there is no thing called, a, nothing called as only scale. So that's why like these are all local scale. Uh, you will understand what is local and global uh, later that is not that important as of now just remember that for scale we need to use local scale now let's say I wanted to you know add this uh, some value on the X right so I'll, I'll, be, I'll be adding some value here on the X axis so it will grow like this so let's see how you can do this so transform our local scale plus equals then I'll add a new vector 3 
Now which value I wanted to add, let's say I will add 0.01f and on the y axis and z axis I don't want to add anything. So I'll put 0. Right? Same thing but only with the scale I'm doing now. Let's see how it works. Now I'll hit play. See it is growing, right? Only on the x axis. Now let's say you wanted to grow it on all the axis like uniform scaling if you wanted to do then you could instead of uh, putting zero on the other things you can just put the same value here right now if i come i'll hit play see it is growing uniformly right it is growing uniformly i'll stop it now so we already know how to do that thing I'll just keep it on the x-axis as of now okay so position and scale is done now comes the rotation now rotation also you might be thinking we can do it same way right transform dot rotation then plus equals to new uh, vector 3 but it will not work actually you see we are getting an error uh, already so I'll keep all these things see if this doesn't work right because rotation it's a uh, rotation is a little bit complicated actually by default we see here three values right x y z but here it is it doesn't work like that so just remember this thing for the only for the rotation rotation is a little bit tricky to do huh? so what i'll do is i'll do transform dot then rotate function is there that you can use for rotation so i'll put that rotate function and now you can uh, give that vector 3 so new vector 3 and on which axis you want it to rotate. So let's say I will only want it to rotate on the Z axis. So I'll put 0 on the X and Y and on the Z axis I'll put maybe 0 0.5 degrees. These are like degrees you can say. So each frame it will update 0 0.5 degrees. It will rotate. So let's see how it rotates. I'll comment this thing. I'll come here. I'll hit play. See it is rotating, right? And you, we can also see that the Z value is changing. Hmm? So this is how you do the rotation. Now, um, so the rotation is done. Let's try to, uh, you know, change the speed because, uh, so rotation is done. Now let's do the speed because obviously we can't change the speed. I mean, you can, but you have to come here. You have to change this value to some large value then save the code come back let it compile then you hit the play button and then you can see that the speed is increased right but obviously we can't do that every time so we need some sort of easy access to that scale uh, speed parameter so what we can do is this one we can make it as a variable so on the top come here and i'll put a variable so float speed i'll put it as uh, 0.1f by default and instead of using 5 here, I'll put the speed. Okay. Now, uh, if I come back here, in this, uh, if I hit play, it will work as it was working before, right? Same, like same it is working. Uh, but I wanted to, you know, change the speed in, in my editor. I don't want to come back into the code and then again change the value, again save. So how will I do it is, make sure that you make it as public public float speed now save the code come back to unity and you will see that uh, in the in your script that speed parameter is now unlocked right you can change the script uh, speed here this is actually the variable name that we are using here right speed so this is the speed now i can just hit play button it is running i can lower down the speed like this I can do negative so it will go on to the other direction. I can do positive, it will go on to the other direction. I can make it really fast or I can make it really slow. And uh, I'm changing the value by actually hovering over this speed parameter and I'm, I'm just left clicking and dragging. That way you can change the value. Okay. Now, so we have done this for speed. Now, similarly, we can do this for other, other things as well. So let's say for scaling or position we can instead of this value you can put the speed here right if I come here now 
I'll hit play. Oh, it is a little bit too fast, right? So I'll just slow down the speed. So it is moving. Obviously, I can change the speed on runtime and I can do it negative positive like this. And it will work. Anyway, so this is our animation. So we have position, scale and rotation. So this is all for this tutorial. Now I'll show you, I'll see you on the next part where I'll be showing you how to create a beautiful scene uh, which looks good and uh, then we'll move on to keyboard and mouse inputs.